Inside the hump, they're expecting a sellout tonight. Seems to be the trend when LSU goes on the road. They draw a big crowd. And they're ready to go inside the hump. Angel Reese and Jessica Carter to jump. And LSU controls it. They go immediately inside to Angel Reese. And there's the battle we're talking about. Angel Reese and Jessica Carter down low. I'm looking for the battle of who can own the paint. Both teams talked about being intentional of getting the ball inside. Haley Van Lith to inbound for LSU inside to Michaela Williams. Second touch for Angel Reese. Yeah, two in a row, and then the two-man game. I like it between these two, but terrific defense by Jaquela Jordan. Yeah, Jordan takes it away. Does not have numbers, does not matter. Now, yep. Kim Mulkey said these games so important after a big game. How does your team respond, especially having to go on the road? Well, because the energy that was in Baton Rouge, the emotion that went into that game, you have to be concerned on how your team is going to come on the road in this hostile environment. Bajay Johnson through traffic, weaving, banks it in. For Mississippi State, Sam Purcell told his five starters, told his whole team, let's go out there and have fun. Take the pressure off. There's no pressure on us. Go play hard and have fun. Well, he knows that if he puts too much pressure on them, they can play tight. And that's the thing they can't do is turn over the basketball. The thing you've got to know is that you've got to take care of the basketball and then get good shots. They got to hurry, though. Two seconds. Stolen away by LSU Angel Reese. One hand! But if it goes in, it does not matter. It does not matter. Jordan short and the rebound back to Reese. LSU took Friday off after that game over South Carolina Thursday and went to work this weekend, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Really, it, there wasn't really anything there. And so that's not an opportunity where you want to, you want to be aggressive, but she's got to be smart and not pick up an unnecessary foul. Haley Van Lith with the steal and the score. You mentioned foul trouble for Angel Reese. The loss to South Carolina, but help them to understand situations. Oh, that's a big finish by Aaron Bartum. And Bartum keeping pressure on LSU and attacking the basket. And, and the biggest thing that I saw from that was, number one, discipline and not getting into foul trouble. And the second thing, situations and handling when teams make their run. Blaze Johnson passes over to Anissa Morrow waiting in the paint and it misses rebound by Jessica Carter. Challenge some of that potential foul issue. Jaquela Jordan forced out and they're running out of time. Five seconds swatted away by Flaje Johnson. It's got to go up for State. Aaron Carter, no They're going straight at LSU. Flaje Johnson for three, a bit much. And Barnum with the board. Miracle Shepard back the other way. But still, not a touch, not a, a significant touch for Jessica Carter inside. And Carter has not attempted a shot so far. I know we're still early on in this game. Oh, wide open. Just straight to the basket for Miracle Shepard, the freshman out of Washington. Miracle Shepard, the first high school signee for Sam Purcell here at Mississippi State. Angel Reese's double team can't finish. And for Caleb Jordan, whoo, tiptoeing on that baseline. Let's see if Mississippi State continues to put Angel Reese in ball screens. It's a 6-0 run for the Bulldogs. For Caleb Jordan. Angel Reese from range. 11-0 run for State. 
Shepard the drive and the kick, but under the fingertips of Anissa Morrow. LSU has not scored in three minutes. Flage, a hostile environment on the road does not affect her. Shepard, the kick out to Darion Rogers. Anissa Morrow. Too much on the three, and that's going to be Mississippi State ball. Mississippi State up six when we come back. Undefeated. That was a good basketball game. Crowd was outstanding. When you don't have Angel Reese, we did about as good as we could. It was one of the most fun games to watch all season. Peck, you were there. What was the environment like? Oh, the energy, even before the game got started, the fans had already started to gather. And then that was a terrific game. It was back and forth. LSU was in control early. Then South Carolina made their run. It was a, it was a heavyweight battle in the third. But then when Angel Reese got her foul in the fourth quarter, that's when South Carolina was able to pull off the win. Aaliyah Del Rosario going up for LSU. Yeah, Angel Reese missed the last four minutes of that game as she fouled out. And this is, remember, LSU led by as many as 11. Del Rosario gets the road bounce. Rogers trying again, it rolls out. Mississippi State has changed up their defense, gone to a zone. Haley Van Lift with the miss, and Jordan comes down with it. And then throws it away. Last tier, Poa. Pulling up at the elbow. She's got an impressive resume. Won a national championship on the JUCO level. And then last year, won a national championship on the D1 level. And her major impact has been on the defensive end. She's taken 28 charges. Now you mentioned Sam Purcell. He told us about, or you mentioned his defenses. He told us he was going to change up defenses mm -hmm. and keep LSU guessing throughout this game. Well, and he, and he told us kind of a little strategy with his zone. There's going to be a certain area of the floor that he's going to give LSU the shots. He's really going to focus on taking away the paint. And then his guards at the top have to cover a lot of area. Anissa Morrow, that's the second three-point attempt that she's taken. Only shoots 22% from behind the arc. And a travel on Carter. Poa, season opening. Del Rosario there for the rebound. Angel Reese with a second, with a third offensive rebound. And a foul on the floor. That's the first on Carter. Into Del Rosario. Spins right into Carter, and she's going to pick up her second just like that. Oh, I, I didn't see it. I yeah. didn't see a foul. I thought she was straight up on that. Del Rosario at the free throw line gets the first. Baylor just announced February 18th. They're going to retire Brittany Griner's jersey. How cool will that be? Yeah. And Lauren Park Lane traveled. That's enough time to dribble and get the ball into number 10 in purple. They throw it all the way down the court. Flage Johnson over to Anissa Morrow. Executed perfectly. Taking care of the basketball. And in the second half of that first quarter, State started quick shooting the basketball. They've got to be more patient. When they're patient offensively, good things happen. So Kayla Jordan trying to create some space, going with the mid-range. Rebound by Anissa Morrow. Are there are any openings there. Van Liff will take it back 10 seconds. Michaela Williams, the step back. That's who needs to get going for LSU. Yep. Yeah, she, he said it would be all in love. Debrisha Poe with the miss, and Jerkayla Jordan. The hustle, the second effort.
into Jordan. Rebound by Van Lith. Angel wants it. She's posting hard. Give it to her. Montague's got two fouls. And she just got whistled for her third. Nyunga Goni is at the table waiting to check in. As she reposts, you've got to stay active because if you don't, she's going to find a way to get herself to the free throw line. And she's first in the nation in that category. It's because of a player named Angel Reese. <laughs> I've heard of her. <laughs> Rogers for two. Ooh. She was not on balance whatsoever and was able to knock that down. She started at DePaul facing an old teammate in Anissa Morrow, who started at DePaul too, now playing for LSU. You know, Flaje came to LSU with that scoring mentality. She was honest today when we talked to her. She said, look, I, I didn't really think of myself as a defensive player because I didn't really play defense in high school. I was <laughs> just being honest. <laughs> I appreciated that. There are very few that really have a focus on the defensive side of the ball coming out of high school. But she's added that to her game. That well, one rolls out for if Jordan. You, if you're going to play for Kim Mulkey, you're going to have to play somebody's defense. That's right. Goni being available now. For Mississippi State allows a third player with size. I told you that smile came from Big Foe. Big Foe. And switching the screens. Flaze has gotten in her bag. Pulling out some tricks and hitting her favorite target when they went 21 seconds. After that, higher percentage when they shoot the ball. Got to shoot it. Lauren Park laid in the corner. No, and another offensive board. Poe stepping into it. Debrisha Poe. She's their leading three-point shooter. And Anissa Mora finishing through contact. Aaron Barnum whistled. But now they're starting to fit in with each other. I mean, we talked to Haley Van Lith. It's like, how do these big personalities, how do you all get along? And she said that, you know, they they will get after each other. No, an isolation. Ah, oh, that's a wide open lane for Barnum. Look, now Angel Reese and Jessica Carter going at each other. Carter's got to be smart because she's got two fouls. And Angel gets wide open, tacks on two more. Reese with 10 points, seven rebounds. Shepard under the basket. Four points for Miracle Shepard. That's a freshman that has made an impact from the time she's had on the, on the floor. Defensively, and she's keeping the pressure with the drive, attacking the rim. Four points, two rebounds, four assists. It's Flaje Johnson going into the hoop. Flaje's in her bag. I told her if she hit that first shot and she had that little smile, it's like, oh, she's going to pick it up a little bit. There it is. Largest lead for LSU. Shepard for two. Yeah. Miracle Shepard might have the bag. She's been carrying. She, she got her little, little clutch purse maybe, but she's getting a little bit. That's going to be a foul on last tier Poa. Miracle Shepard with the aggression defensively to get the steal and then draw the foul. Well, Shepard, since she's been on the floor, she's three for four. She got four assists. She's wreaked havoc on the defensive end. She knows the assignment. Well, Sam Purcell told us Miracle Shepard, she's got a strong mental game, and that's something that's not always the case for freshmen. Something maybe they develop over time. She can't really start the with it. Oh, yeah. Michaela Williams lost it, so Shepard will head over. It looked like she had a cut on her lip, so the training staff is going to take a look at her on the Mississippi State bench as Lauren Park Lane checks in to replace her. Yeah, she's had the last six points for State. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, Aaron Barnum just had a couple of chances right under the basket and can't finish. You get an opportunity against LSU. You got to finish those layups. Meanwhile, the Tigers hit their last three shots. Lauren Park Lane in the lane. That's a four point swing. LSU scored 16 points off those turnovers. LSU want to go one four flat. Jessica Carter's got to be careful. She's got two fouls, and Issa Morrow, top of the key for the three. And at the end of each quarter, LSU is able to get points when the clock is ticking. They did shoot 50% from the field in that first half, and they come out and get a quick bucket. And Anissa Morrow flashing to that SEC logo. That is a soft spot in the zone. It's no secret. Everybody talks about that. That's got to be the area in that zone you got to protect. When did Mississippi State have the most success on offense in the first half? They had the most success on offense in that first quarter when they were patient with their offense. Williams recovered and got the two. Oh, wow. <laughs> shot, but it came back to Williams. Well, Mississippi State, you like them deeper in the shot clock in that first half? Yeah, they're shooting almost 50% when they get under 20. And let's get a judgment. Miracle Shepard got the nod. Starting early with the defense she brought in the first half. She had a full stat line in the first half. Eight points, four assists, and two rebounds. Aaron Burnham by herself on the block. Michaela Williams able to use the window. Mississippi State has plays called Yabba Dabba Doo plays, and they, Miracle Shepherds had a ton in this game. The uh, hustle. This is a Yabba Dabba for sure. Yabba Dabba pack. What did I say? Yabba Dabba. Oh, Yabba Dabba. I got it, because I'm trying not to say do, because that wasn't part of it, but no, we might as well. Yeah. Yabba Dabba do. Yeah, there you go. All right. <laughs> but when you, when you beat your opponents down the floor in transition, First one up and in for Trakeela Jordan. Got two. Poa calling for it. It's a turnover forced by Miracle Shepard. She's by herself. Pola's gonna push, and that's an offensive foul on last year, Pola, her third. Ooh, that's courageous for Jessica Carter. Remember, she has two fouls, but she stepped over, absorbed the contact to draw that charge. Tied at 46. Each team has led by as many as eight tonight. Kayla Jordan with the step back. Ten points in the second half for Sir Kayla Jordan. I think Jordan's offense and Miracle Shepard's defense has been huge for Mississippi State. Angel Reese going around Jessica Carter. Right, give it back to her. Give it to Carter on the block. Back in the hands of Shepard. Solid away by Flashe. She's all alone. Jerkayla Jordan, the ninth time this season she has had 20 or more points. That's going to be the third foul on Jessica Carter. And a one-point ball game in the third quarter. Jerkayla Jordan.
leading the way for Mississippi State with 21 points. Yeah, Pat had so many great friends in the league. They could be, they were fierce competitors, but like Sam said, when you did something that you, that Pat saw was effective, she had no qualms about, hey, picking your brain and saying, hey, can you show me how you do that? And Joe Champy was very gracious in sharing his information with Pat. But then on the return, Pat was as gracious when people wanted to know what Tennessee did. She was not afraid to share that as well. I mean, that's who Pat Summit definitely was. Angel Reese with the bucket there. And it's so fun on We Back Pat Week to hear these stories. And this year, the Pat Summit Foundation presenting Pat's game plan specifically for caregivers. Back the other way from Mississippi State in the bucket. She's filling up the stat sheet, but it's also the things that don't show up on the stat sheet that knows the Miracle Shepherd is doing. The hustle play. Darian Rogers, seven seconds. Now she's stuck. Just threw it on the right. Let's see what happens. I don't think that she just threw it up. That's similar to the shot I saw in the first half. <laughs> It's a tote bag. It's not a clutch. That's the third on Angel Reese. Defense leading the offense. Who got their hand on it? Miracle Shepard. And then hitting Jessica Carter. Running in transition. That's a yabba dabba. And then... Darion Rogers knocking down the three and then battling inside with Jessica Carter. Woo, we've had us a ball game tonight. She knew it. Held the follow through. And Kim Mulkey has to call timeout. Mississippi State have had quite a few Yabba Dabba moments tonight. It's something he thought of watching cartoons with his three little girls. Reese, Riley, and Reagan. He said, we need that kind of Fred Flintstone energy. And at first his team looked at him like he was crazy, but they bought into it. Well, it's something that they're going to remember. I you know? Never forget it. I, look, sometimes when I'm driving, I have a Yabba Dabba moment. I know. I've been the passenger. <laughs> Miracle Shepherd has been everywhere. Anissa Morrow pushing away from Aaron Barnum, short on the shot. If they can take care of the basketball, they may be able to pull off one here at home. Yeah, half of their turnovers came in the first quarter. And find their way back. That's a big duck in by Morrow, but she couldn't finish. Reese got the rebound. Now Angel Reese goes to the free throw line. South Carolina hosting Ole Miss, who beat Tennessee yesterday. We'll cap the afternoon. A roller coaster. Virginia knocks off North Carolina. Duke knocked off Florida State. All kinds of crazy. It's yeah. It's up in the air. And he's tomorrow with the takeaway. Got her own rebound. And Michaela Williams corrals it. Van Litt. That's a battle inside. So Darion Rogers. I thought she was in the act of shooting. I thought she was in the act of shooting too. So did Kim Mulkey. Two marks behind it. Fabricia Cole. Mississippi State extends the lead. And then Lauren Park Lane fouls Haley Van Lip. Mississippi State just swing the ball over. Darion Rogers already put up the three-point sign before Poe po pulled the trigger, and Sam Purcell is loving it. 
LSU has hit one of its last 11 field goal attempts. Meanwhile, Mississippi State, six for six. Check for Poe. LSU can take the last shot of the quarter. They have not scored. No field goals in the last four minutes. Kim Mulkey urging Van Lick to go. Five seconds. Van Lick fires. Bounces out. Last year, if they beat Tennessee, the girls got a trampoline. They did that. This year, the girls have upped the ante. Oh, yeah. A win tonight. They get a pool. I hope it's the bottom one yeah. <laughs> and not the blow-up one on top. I think so, too. So, Kayla Jordan's going to help him out. Sam Purcell said if they pull this off now, he's probably going to be begging for some donations to get <laughs> that pool put in at his house. How, how have they done it? How are they up on, Mrs. on LSU right now? They're playing with a lot of confidence in their defense. I cannot say enough about Miracle Shepard and what she's brought on the floor, but the composure that Mississippi State has played with has been huge. Mississippi State outscored LSU 28-17 to in the third quarter. Baje Johnson up and in. Mississippi State seeking its first top 10 win since 2018. And transition points for LSU. That's how LSU can get back into this ball game. And let's pulls it back out. Angel Reese leading LSU right now, 17 points, 14 rebounds. Miracle Shepard does not stop. You're no longer a freshman, and Miracle Shepard is playing like an upperclassman right now. Six steals for Miracle, one away from tying her career high, and Rodgers takes it away. 17 turnovers for LSU. Mississippi State has gotten 20 points off of those turnovers. Nine of them coming in the second half, talking about LSU's turnovers. And what Mississippi State has to do, they got to play to win. You can't play too careful. What does that look like? You've got to move the basketball. They're going to check that, but they count it for now. And a travel on Morrow. Rogers for three. Shake it back. Reese to Anissa Morrow in the baseline. Oh, it's good, and Jordan, just to be patient. Four seconds. Jessica Carter. Reese snuck ahead, but the pass overthrown. That's five turnovers in the last four minutes for LSU. Right before the shot clock, they ruled that it was a shot clock violation, so they've taken two points off of the board. The ball's still in her hand when the shot clock goes off, so that's why our score is now 70 to 61. How do you handle this if you're Mississippi State with the lead here and still 4.45 to go? Well, you just, you just got to make sure that you're very intentional with your passes. You cannot turn the ball over. You're almost better off if you don't get a shot, getting a shot clock violation, at least you get your defense set. LSU has not scored since the 8.53 mark in this quarter. Michaela Williams in the corner. We were talking in the break. It seems like they're trying to run through things through Anissa Morrow more than Angel Reese. Yeah, they've got Angel Reese at the high post. Morrow down low for Mississippi State. Ball screen action. Make two guard one. That'll open up a passer to receive the basketball. Rogers deep.
Reese is going inside tomorrow with high low. LSU brings the fans out, the sellout crowd here at the hump. Right now having a fight from behind. Angel Reese got it back. But looks to be in pain. I think she took a hit to the rib. Now how will LSU execute down the stretch? Mississippi State ball, they said LSU touched it last. They were looking inside tomorrow. Now Mississippi State has got to handle this full court pressure. You just don't want to get caught in the corner. And they call a timeout as they can't get the ball and Mississippi State will have one timeout left. Kim Mulkey for LSU has to look at that because if that gets down to crunch time and you're wanting to put Mississippi State at the foul line, you still got to foul three more times before that happens. Mississippi State has only attempted five free throws today. As they know if this game is tied at the end, it could become a free throw shooting situation. Mississippi State still struggling with the pressure. They do get it across. But now that they've broken it, now composure. It's a two-possession game. So LSU, they just need to try to get a stop right now, then score at the other end. Four seconds. Dracayla Jordan struck down by Angel Reese. Jump ball, possession arrow to LSU. Reese going after Jessica Carter. That's what I'm saying. Right now yes. on the home stretch, you got to play through number 10 in purple, Angel Reese. Now you have the threat of Paul and Rogers along with Jessica Carter inside. Oh, quick hands by Flajay Johnson. No, that's Anissa Morrow. Oh, Anissa Morrow it is. Jump ball, possession arrow, Mississippi State as Paul ties it up. You don't want to be in that corner. That's a good job. Get out of there quick. And Sam Purcell's even coaching the crowd, telling them to settle down. Five and a half minute scoring drought for Mississippi State. Rogers goes swish. at four threes. LSU. LSU three timeouts. Mississippi State with one. Angel Reese almost took that away. And there's the last one for LSU to get. Miracle Shepard, she's a 60% 60, 60 shooter from the free throw line. LSU can call timeout here and advance the ball. So last year, Polo will inbound. They go straight to Angel Reese. Back over to Haley Van Lift, who puts up a quick three and misses, but Angel Reese is there. Angel Reese is a 74% free throw shooter. She makes more free throws per game than anyone in the nation. Five of six tonight. This is the first. Yeah. 
You also have the breach of pole. That's also a good option. So Rogers will be inbound. Rogers inbound in the basketball. They had a long conversation of whether or not she can make certain passes. She was real honest with her coach. You gotta have that kind of communication. Again, Mississippi State does not have a timeout. They have to get this ball in. And LSU has brought the pressure. They do. They get it to Drakela Jordan. That's who you want to have the ball. And LSU's got a foul. Lisa Morrow does. I want to make LSU wants a timeout. demonstrated just why tonight. Again, LSU does not have a timeout. So they will have to go the length of the floor. Well, they, LSU did a nice job into the first, into the second quarter in their executions. So now what do they have in their bag to come quick? The final 24 seconds. Rogers gets them both. Back to a six-point lead. And Miracle Shepard fouls Haley Van Lith. Sam Purcell looking for his first top 25 win at Mississippi State. And as a head coach, they have not beaten a top 10 team since 2018. Michaela Williams, they needed it desperately her first three tonight. And LSU's got a foul right now. 15 seconds on the clock. Darian Rogers back to the free throw line. This is the first. So now LSU make or miss, get it on the push. All right now I'd say drive it hard, then looking for a shooter. Four point game. Michaela Williams, short on the three. And Mississippi State, yabba dabba do right to a top 25 win. The Bulldogs' first win over a top 10 team since 2018.